Hi there, welcome to the latest episode of my 10 minute moan and on this episode is part 2 of Nicola Sturgeon's evidence given at the UK COVID inquiry and in this one there's a few dramas, there's a few tears, there's what I believe to be lies and the first clip I'll show you is Nicola presented with Leech being a wee bit disingenuous towards her, if I'm perfectly honest with you, and watch her response to it. Small shenanigans, as always, she actually wants none of us. Is that an accurate reflection of the way in which you manage the pandemic in Scotland? Uh, no, it's not, and uh, it couldn't be further uh, from that. Perhaps you have to know uh, Jason Leach as well as I do to fully appreciate his, you know, sometimes... Uh, turn of phrase, um, I should say I have got the highest uh, opinion of Professor Leach and he was uh, crucial um, in a very, very positive way to our handling of the, the pandemic. There you go. Absolutely fascinating, isn't it? This man, who's been quite derogatory towards her, she defends to the hilt and suggests it's just his nature that we don't understand. It's a joke, right? Now, what that's telling me is He's part of the cabal, and he's an accepted member of the cabal, unlike people like Katie Forbes, who will come on to a bit later on. And they will do nothing publicly to badmouth each other, or talk badly in any way. However, when you stumble across their personal and private conversations, they're getting the knives out for each other. These people are shocking. They ain't interested in me, you, or even each other. Their only in interest is self-preservation. And this is highlighted in the highest order all throughout this COVID inquiry. They are shocking. The next clip, Nicola was asked about Boris Johnson and did she believe he was the right Prime Minister to lead us through COVID, which she did give uh, a, a, an answer would say no, and, but that was because... She just she had said publicly before that she felt he was the wrong Prime Minister at any time, never mind COVID. So therefore, um, she could quite happily agree that she felt he was the wrong Minister, Prime Minister, to lead us through COVID, obviously. She's also asked if she is the right First Minister or was the right First Minister to lead us through COVID. Wait till you see this performance. Um, did you consider yourself, against that background and your considerable ministerial experience, to be precisely the right first minister for the job? No, that's not how I would have thought of it at all. Um, I was the first minister when uh, the pandemic struck. There's a large part of me wishes that I hadn't been, um, but I was, and I wanted to be the best first minister I could be during that period. It's for others to judge the extent to which I succeeded. Right, now, before I start on this part, the first thing I need to make perfectly clear is I take no pleasure in watching a human being being upset on camera, okay? Just putting that out there. However, this person, I have no sympathy for. Although I don't take any enjoyment out of watching her cry in front of the public. I've got no sympathy for her whatsoever. Especially in what she's the topic of discussion at the time, where despite earlier having handwritten notes presented to her by her aide at the time, suggesting that we should politicise COVID and we should ask the UK government for things they cannot provide, knowing that that will help politicise COVID. She tried to waffle through that. She was also presented by the KC that she, in fact, acted on this note from her aide about politicising and asking the UK for stuff she couldn't. Days later, so she did take part in planned politicising of COVID. We've seen many instances of this throughout the days of the COVID inquiry, umpteen and numerous pieces of evidence to quite easily show that the Scottish government politicised COVID. 
That argument is off the table. It is proven, hammer down, rest the case, my lord. Okay? We don't need to debate it anymore. So to see this woman sit there in tears, although unpleasant it was to watch, she has those tears because she's trying to back up this theory, lie, that they did not politicize. And how dare anyone suggest that I politicize COVID? I was only doing my best. Well, Nicola, I ain't buying it, darling. You did. And it's proven you did. And to sit there and put on the tiny tears act, unpleasant as it was to watch, doesn't he You, your government, your cabal, and your party have already been found guilty in the court of public that you politicised this, this uh, COVID um, disaster, pandemic. We didn't need, excuse me a second, we, as a public, didn't need this inquiry to tell us and teach us that you guys politicised this pandemic where people died. We had already decided. The only thing this inquiry is doing is cementing those opinions. And it's doing a very good job of it. It's proven beyond all reasonable doubt that you, your cabinet and your party politicised this epidemic pandemic, sorry. Now, other things that came up on today's morning, second part of the morning here, was this gold group, whatever you wanted to call it, which deliberately excluded people at several times, like Katie Forbes, not in the inner sanctum. You tried to justify that today, and again, we ain't buying it. Oh, Katie must have known. Katie's private office would have known. All Katie had to do was come to the meetings if she so wished. A lot of bollocks. Katie Forbes gave evidence yesterday she had no idea that these gold meetings, gold command, whatever you wanted to call it, they didn't take, she didn't know they were taking place. She did eventually get to them and some of them. But the most interesting part about this cabal, this inner sanctum you decided to call the Gold Command, which was a cabinet within a cabinet, was the fact that no single minutes were taken from these meetings, and obviously none submitted to the COVID inquiry. This super group you decided to have for invite only, and not for all your cabinet. And we're led to believe, if we believe a word you say, that these meetings were just to chat and to look at all the different aspects that you would take forward to the cabinet. And we don't really need the minutes because the truth of the decision making was made in the cabinet meetings, which you therefore minuted. So why the need for this separate cabinet, this cabinet within a cabinet that you christened the gold command? You and your treacherous gang waded your way through COVID with a government of secrecy and had a gold command above everything else that dictated policy, strategy, and where your cabinet would eventually vote. But me, nor no other mere mortal Scottish person is allowed to even see the minutes of such meetings. This is one of the most despicable acts of your government. People died. Families were ruined. Businesses were lost. And this COVID inquiry, <clears throat> if nothing else, should give those people affected a bit of solace from, and comfort that their government at least tried its best. Unfortunately, you decided to take that away from people because right at the top of the government, you decided to have a gold command and total secrecy. Not a single minute, not a single note, nothing. And you want to talk about WhatsApps and how justified deleting them. There is no justification for what you've done within the gold command. 
And I would expect any governing body to have a separate inquiry solely on the subject of you, your gold command, and I bet every single last one of you in there will get police law, one law, in these secret meetings. And you deserve everything that's coming your way. So although I take no pleasure in watching you in tears in front of the public, I've no empathy or sympathy for you. In my eyes, you've got nowhere near the just desserts. You, your cabinet, your gold command, and all your cult and cabal deserve. And I vow that I'll no stop doing what I do, and I'll turn the heat up, and I'll get even more militant in public until every single last one of you is banished from governing and being anywhere near the government of Scotland or the United Kingdom. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe and hit notifications. But most importantly of all, despite all the shite we need to deal with roundabout is by the SNP. Try. Have a great day. Bye now.